All right, welcome to week four. We're officially more than halfway done with the game, and we are in Morocco for the Moroccan national event at the end of the week. Since when have you been interested in my life? Okay, I guess if I'm ever going to get any peace, I'm going to have to tell you the rest. One day, my life turned upside down. I came back from a long day in the field when on the edge of the road, I saw a huge shape and I stopped in my tracks, transfixed. Night had already fallen and to begin with, I didn't know what to make of this creature and its big glowing eyes. As I got closer, I discovered it was a horse, the most beautiful being I had ever seen. The weirdest thing was that it was just standing in the middle of the track, not moving. And when I approached, it took one step in my direction. At that moment, I realized my destiny was upon me, and I decided I would take charge of the horse, come what may. I knew my family would never let me keep him because there was no way we had enough money. So I took the decision of a lifetime, the decision that finally led me to this academy. So what happened next? Knowledge of somebody is a prize. It has to be deserved. Make some progress and maybe we can chat. Or try and catch me in a good mood.
One day then, my father brought a magnificent horse, a rare beauty, a thoroughbred. He told me that if I loved animals so much, I could take care of him and ride it if I really wanted. I was over the moon and I took really good care of Sol. We started winning competitions and the Sycamore Riding Academy contacted me to join them. To begin with, I refused. Why did you do that? I don't know. I wasn't ready to leave my hometown, my friends, and my horse. I mean, my father's horse. And I really regretted this refusal because a short while afterwards... What? Tell me, Esteban. It's still too painful to talk about. Please leave me now. I have to think. The other reason I took my music lessons seriously was because of my teacher, or rather, because of my teacher's daughter, who took the same lessons. Her name was Shirley. She was a true angel. Hair as jet as the night sky and skin as pale as the moon. You mean she was a goth? What's that supposed to mean? If everybody judged books by their cover, we'd only ever read recipe books. Just because someone's different doesn't mean they're wrong. Sorry, just slipped out. I didn't mean it. Do carry on, please. No, sorry, you're going to have to wait until I've calmed down. I'll tell you what I did next. My pa worked harder and harder to help us live. My ma's practice wasn't working great, and pa had to provide for the family. But one day, the businessman who had hired my pa decided to use my pa's research to start developing a commercial and industrial zone instead of the nature reserve that was planned. My pa had always believed in protecting nature, and the idea that his own research was being abused like that made him real mad. He decided to pump everything he had into taking the business guy to court to stop his project. He won, but was totally bankrupt. The business guy ran off to France, and rumor has it, he tried out some other scam. It was a young girl who saw through him, and funnily enough, she was also a serious horse lover. What about your father? Can we talk about him some other time?
studying like mad. Are you worried you won't be ready for the competition? The competition has been brought forward, but I'm totally exhausted. You should take a break. Have you ever seen our cave village? It's only a few minutes ride from here. We could take a quick trip down there. What do you reckon? It's pretty tempting, I must say, but the competition registration deadline isn't far away and I absolutely must sign up or my team won't be able to compete. Just a quick trip. You'll be back in time easily. Okay. This country is magnificent. It's going to be really sad to leave. Not a lot of people know about this place and the treasures here. It's even more impressive inside. Let's go see. Ladies first. And they said chivalry was dead. Hey, quit fooling around. Open up immediately. I've got to find a way to get out of here. I absolutely must get back to the stud farm before the end of registration.
I demand an explanation. I understand. Only I suggest we race first. And why should I accept? Because if you win, I'll tell you everything you want to know. Are you one of Q's friends? Who's Q? Doesn't matter. Right, about this race? Okay, I'm listening. I had it in for you, and especially Spike. Spike? What's he got to do with all this? Well, I'm head over heels in love with Wendy Summers. I found out that Spike and her were going out. Spike and Wendy? So that's why Spike hasn't been around so much. Uh, Deborah found out how heartbroken I was, and she pressured me into taking revenge. I'm so sorry, I really regret... Were you the one in my horse box the other day? Did you let my horse out? No way, that's got nothing to do with me. I'd never harm a horse, they're so innocent. We use them and they accept it. Extraordinary animals. Wendy Summers completely understands this. And that's why- I understand. I still managed to register anyway. Let's just forget about it. You don't hold it against me? No, you're not the one I'm really after. You're one determined girl. I wouldn't like to be that person right now. I know something about you. And I know something about you. Yes, but I know something you don't want anyone to know about. And I know something... What? No, you're having a laugh. I've got nothing to hide. Ah, you're in love. Can I have your attention, please? Harry... Joe uh, Temple's here. The instruction staff request your presence outside the director's office as soon as possible to assess your progress this year before the exam tomorrow. Yeah, what a pain. It's as if nothing can stop the Academy. Here they are on the verge of taking part in their first major competition on the route to the World Championship qualifiers. Even if there's nothing done and dusted yet, they are still a school of exceptional talent who promise to give us some extraordinary moments. Enough, Jan. Let's sit back and let the sport do the talking. Welcome to the Moroccan National Event. It's a difficult course, and the competitors will have to keep a clear head and control their mounts right to the end of the course.
nothing to add. Let's hope she keeps this up. Excellent. Now, stay focused. Great strides, great, come on.
You're very talented, there's no doubt about that. Here's to us and to our success. All this winning works up quite an appetite. Sir, when are we going to get down to the serious work? Did I hear that right? We have been training for weeks. We pull off a glorious victory and you start asking about the serious work? We have one more competition before the World Championships. First, we must head back to Scotland to continue our training. What happened to Ginger? She was here a minute ago. What's it to you? Ginger, it's Q. It's cold here. And the landscape's so grisly. It's nothing like Morocco. It does have a certain charm. At least it isn't raining. That's it for the last week in Morocco. We'll be back in Scotland here for week five. We'll see you in the next one.